Look at these purple cauldrons. So much beauty and promise is brewing in them. I have three days until the potion competition, so hopefully I can start brewing some competition potions in them soon. Or I could just have it wait until the last possible moment, who knows? Either way, I have a lot I need to do today. First, let's see what kind of potions I've made. Three star greater stamina potion. This should be a good common health potion. Sorry, greater health potion. And last but not least, my sight enhancer. Awesome, so surely I can complete some online orders. Both of them, in fact. Let's go. Make it easy money here. Ka-ching. Oh, and this one's even better. Ba-boom. 700 coins, making back those lost profits. And now I guess I probably should make competition potions, huh? I was planning on doing a lot of potion selling today, too, so they're probably gonna be two-hour potions. Let's start with the ice tonic. Equal points A and D. Tell you what, I've got some sick D right here. Salt watermelons. How about I brew the best damn ice tonic this world has ever seen? That's gonna be a grand ice tonic, even. Too bad I don't have anything that equally has A and D. But that's fine, I can reduce it to a two-hour brew, then get on with my life. Next up, I'll do the speed potion. This needs C and D, huh? Well, I guess I can just do this similarly. What a beautiful potion. Is anyone else feeling hot right now or just me? Drop that down to two hours. This will be a great start to the day. How about some garbage health potion here? Is a greater health potion in the making? I mostly just want to get those going so I can start making my money back. It's time to get everything out. Shadow tonics sell for extra today. And I want to be making the most profit from it. This is a grand tonic, by the way. First one I'll be selling. Maybe get these out of my inventory too. Next, I've got a deck to fix. i got so many new cards recently. Draw three cards, discard any of the three that do not raise interest. Maybe drop a scheme for a pressure? It's a cheaper draw three. Maybe. Uh, I'll come back to that one. Scheme's really good, so I don't know if I want to see it go. Yo, I get four choruses? This could scale like crazy. I could try dropping the pump up enthusiasm combo for four choruses. Which sounds insane, yes. But it's mostly because of pressure. Adding pressure to my deck makes pump up a little bit worse. Or rather, pump up makes pressure worse. Maybe it's not enthusiasm I want to lose though. Could be muscle memory, that one's kind of weak. Maybe one enthusiasm, one muscle memory. Balance it out a bit. I guess I could drop muscle memory entirely then, bring enthusiasm back. It's not even like muscle memory is bad, it's infinite value. It's more like I just want to try out four cores in the deck, just to see how it goes. So customers start with stubborn. This one's only gonna lose patience, no big deal. Get my sympathy back, so this gets a total of five right now. Okay, so the first one is in fact a raise of five. So that means the next one will be a raise of 10. That's actually really good then. Oh yeah. I mean, that's as sick as they come. Always gonna blitz here. Now there's no way I'm getting this. <laughs> 53 interest, hell no. What I'm mostly looking for is the closeout. No, I just got more chorus. Well, I'll take a casual 497. Pretty good first haggle. Chorus does work in the best case scenario. That is an online order. So I drew my one flattery. Well, elevator pitch into chorus. And then carry on, take a little stress. Oh well. Well, I noticed about stress. I, I totally forgot about this. The 2% is the odds of drawing a stress card. I think it's instead of a normal card. I might even try to end it this turn, depending on what I draw. Oh, I drew Chorus. So Chorus into Chorus is sick. It's already better than Blitz, and Blitz was previously one of the best cards I had. I might just close it out this turn. Oh. Thing is, four stress. Do I want to take four stress? I only can play one card to win. How many cards get me 15? One Chorus. Two Enthusiasm. That's it. Let's avoid the 4% stress. Because the thing is, if I draw a stress card, stress cards give me more stress, which is kind of exponential growth. Ooh, but hold on. I got pressure this turn. Start with the elevator pitch. Pressure could get the ball rolling. Oh god, maybe not. Well, now let's see. This gets me effectively 20%. Surely I'll get more next turn. Actually, I can't guarantee that. I might be doing worse by just ending the turn, but we'll see. It's not like I'm taking stress, so I'm just willing to let it go by. Six shield. Oh, this is interesting. Always blitzing here. 
Okay, it appears it would have just been better to close out the deal the previous turn. Thankfully, it's only by about 7%, which is a 10 coin loss. When you have 2,600, a 10 coin mistake is not the biggest deal in the world. It's Quinn, what you got for me? Well, let's see how this can go. Maybe a one turner would be sick. Thanks to scheme. Pressure could be nice too. Especially since I've already drawn one of my schemes, or my only scheme. I still play a lot here, actually. I can play out the whole hand. We'll see where that gets me. Bam. So I'm not gonna get this plus 25%. Do I want 3% stress for a chance? I would need 12 interest. There is exactly one card that would get it for me. One is a low number. So I'm just accepting what this is and moving on. More online orders. I drew double chorus this time. So maybe I'll pop up that. I don't know how I really feel about chorus so far. It just feels okay so far. Maybe this will happen to be the haggle that changes my mind on it. Well, this one's tough. Yeah, I think I will start with this. So I can draw a ton and then not quite get what I want. I don't think there's anything here that can help me, but enthusiasm probably won't get there. It would need the next tier to be 18, which just doesn't make any sense. Let's close out the deal. Yeah, it's 23. Neat. All right, so I feel like there's some changes that need to be made with the deck. I didn't even get to sell that much, even with the showcase. I thought I was supposed to get an increase in artisan customers. What the hell? Well, potions have been finished making. Give me that. The Grand Ice Tonic. A superb brew. The Grand Speed Potion. I'm ready to absolutely dominate this competition. So last thing I got to make is that good old Sight Enhancer. Time to whip out that recipe I've been meaning to do. I feel like I could get way more out of this though, you know? I can't really figure out a better potion than this. There might not be one with the combination of ingredients I have. I'm also gonna make this a four hour brew. I think I plan to go out. I forget if I have many rank up opportunities, but in case I do, I wanna use them. And then I can do some mail-in orders. I actually already have a stamina potion with a positive fifth trait. So I guess I just need a mana potion with a positive fifth trait. That can be done. What even has a positive fifth trait? Oh, bog beat does. Cool. I should probably do two of them so it becomes an even number again. And then figure out how to equalize C with that. Well, this one works. I don't think I need this many Magimans though. I can just do this many. I usually just use my mana potions on heroes anyway. So it makes sense to just barely get it to greater. Perfectly efficient potion. And for the last one, I guess I'm just doing one of these... Unfortunately, the Sight Enhancers I made probably don't have a positive fourth trait. Just in case they do, though, I'll make the Fire Tonics first. Thankfully, Antler Jelly gets me that positive fourth trait. I think I could do more Bogey Berries than Antler Jelly, though. Just as long as there's one in here. Well, this will become a Tier 4, a Grand Potion. That's all I need. I guess it's time to head out. Always happy to start off my morning afternoon errands with Baptiste. I don't know what kind of gifts he loves. Maybe he likes essences. Oh, yep, he seems enamored with that one. I'm writing that down. Don't forget it, I got my list of the characters and what stuff they really like. Photonic Spore. That's a new one to me, I'll take one. The rest, I actually might take some snapping turtle shells because there's not many for sale in the shop. Like, I'm almost tempted to just kinda whoop. <laughs> Fuck that ecosystem. Oh God, the coin total. The calculator game has spread. I also feel like this is an incredible price for the snapping turtle shell. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I'd be a fool to not accept this. It's just better than the shop, according to my memory. Before I test that theory, I forget if my heroes brought me anything. That's right, you grinded out the forest. I haven't really figured out what you're loving. I feel like flesh. Maybe frog leg? I don't want to risk it with a uh, shiny frog leg, though. How about this? Just the common flesh. Pretty good. As far as mint is considered, that's just... I don't, I don't think that's a winner. We'll keep trying, though. Now, we could adventure... The Shadow Step allegedly has weaker monsters and less loot, but I haven't beaten this place yet, and I'm sick of it just constantly being at this tier, so I'm just running it at this point. So let's make sure that this will be enough. It very much should be.
Nah, so what if it's not efficient? I mean, look at this XP. I'll send you on your way. Other hero. Oh, I did send you on a journey. Oh, salt watermelons and reef radishes and sea salt. This is, that's a nice pull. I don't think I needed an adventure from you. I'm just going to carry on. Muktuk is nuts about fish. But I looked in the shop and I couldn't find many good fish. The best fish I have is this silver eel. It's not great, but it'll do. they just very, be very happy about it. Plus a rank up. Uh, hell yeah, I'll take that with Muktuk. Bravado. For two turns, applies three additional interest whenever a card is played. Interesting. So this benefits really well with low-cost cards. I mean, I got so many interesting deck ideas that are, like, half complete. It's just missing some non-existing cards still. Sorry, Muktuk, that's all I got for today. Okay, definitely ranking with Luna. Maybe I can rank up twice. Hey, cheaper marketing. You love to see it. And no additional rank up. I like the idea of uh, boosting the price of potions that have positive of certain traits, but I think I'll do Thunder Tonic so I can brew some tonight or tomorrow, just at some point. And to move on. And finally, cats. I do have a rank up here. You give them a fish, though. Take my eel and rank it. Salt or pepper. Apply confident for two turns. Increase all interest applied by 50%, or reduce stress received from all sources by 50%. 50% buff is pretty good. And last thing I wanted to do was buy back these eels. Yeah, they're expensive. They're expensive gifts, but they seem to be very potent. Well, they're as potent as I'm going to get for gifts. And I have a bit of money to splash around. It just occurred to me, I'm not going to get a chance to retrieve the potions. I forgot that. Oh well. I'm not going to get too hung up on that mistake, really. Because I still made sick progress today. I mean, I've basically brewed all my competition potions. Just got to make a little bit more money now. Thunder tonics, fire tonics, silence cures. So let the brewing begin. Hot damn. So that's three check marks for competition potions. But there's more stuff I actually want to do. And you'll see, potentially... Oh, those fire tonics go for so much. I almost don't want to ship one away, just because of how insane that is. I will ship away my mana potion and stamina, though. See ya. And how much is this worth? This is 385. I'm not going to ship off my fire tonics right now, but I do want to make some thunder tonics. Hell yeah, that'll be a sick one. I think I want this to be a two-hour brew. Send it. I don't know why they're talking about silence cures when it's not even a recipe I have unlocked. I think I'll just make a new fire tonic here with a positive fourth trait. Because I'm pretty sure just my current one, it's, uh, I'm just really not feeling it. I'm, I'm feeling selling it rather than putting it in the online order. Though it's not like I'm not going to want to sell this one either. This one's also a banger. But it's different, okay? It's a backup. And last but not least, more health potions. I should probably just, well, as soon as I get more money, get a third good cauldron from Muktuk. Maybe I'll get the one that can take eight ingredients just to switch things up. Anyway, I want to do some selling. And while I'm in customization, I know I can fix up my flooring. Do I have anything that, like, fully matches? Do a storm plains wall. That, I mean, that looks sick. Uh, my deck is not ready, though. I think I'm gonna change a lot. First off, I don't hate pressure. But I'm not in love with it either. Next, I haven't gotten flattery off in forever. Maybe I gotta stop running it. Next, I'm not too crazy about chorus, but it's not great, especially compared to say blitz or even press the attack sometimes, sometimes. So I wanted to try Muck Tuck's bravado and maybe I could bring back pump up then, or I could do salt or pepper. Well, I guess I can technically do both. Uh, but with all these cards that don't directly raise interest, I'm probably going to drop the pressure. So now I've got a lot of combo pieces again all of a sudden. My deck is just jumping around everywhere right now. I could try good cop, bad cop, since I have a lot that buffs the power of current cards. Maybe I really don't want bravado then. Maybe I just want big cards. I mean, this is a total change in pace. I've got enthusiasm, i got good cop, bad cop, and I've got two things that can buff the crap out of them. Is it good? I don't know. Only one way to find out. I mean, yes, it does apply Shocked, which is unfortunate. And it's like, why would I run that then, but not Shock Factor? And I think the difference is that would be my first card, which means I can't play something like Pump Up or Salt or Pepper 
before it. I just want to try it once, okay? It, it's just the day of lots of different decks. Hey, a mail in order. Let's go. Ooh, the fire tonic's going nuts. And I'm going to gain stress and draw fewer cards next turn. You hate to see it. Oh, sleight of hand is kind of nuts here, though. So here's the theory right now. Sleight of hand gets me actually 15%, which is the same as this heart, okay? It also dodges 3% stress and, uh, you know, a smaller draw next turn, but mostly 3% stress. Now, the thing is, I will have 10 patience to get the 15% back to equal this and probably the next tier. And I could simply draw sleight of hand later. It's more that I just don't want 3% stress. I'm going to try ending the turn and see how much I regret it. I mean, there's a chance this could pay off, though. So now you're just going to lose patience. Oh, I did get sleight of hand back, so I guess it's not the worst. I also got pump up enthusiasm. Let's see, what does this come out to? Well, I could sleight of hand now. Actually, sleight of hand, again, just is equivalent to this interest increase amount. And there's a very likely chance that with two patients next turn, I don't get 23 interest. So let's just take the guarantee. That's also my last sleight of hand. It's big money. Back in the four figures. It's Muktuk. Okay, so now... It's gonna force me to draw a stress card. Let's see what I can get going with here. Oh boy. So I'm gonna pump up the good cop, bad cop, but that's gonna be last. I hope I can get there. I got so many big cards. Surely I can get there. Enthusiasm. Into Blitz. Let's see what this actually comes out to. 38. So I'll get 13 from this tier. And then 25. I feel like his next tier is going to be something like 26. If I end turn, I'm basically exactly looking for my sleight of hand. I am fully serious when I say that if this gave one more interest, I would probably fire. Yeah, I'm going to say this doesn't get there. Let's see, do I get the closeout card? I don't. That's fine. The only way it could have gone bad is if it, somehow his final tier was 25, but that just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, double good cop, bad cop, huh? Well... See what this looks like. I think I get to 24. It's gonna give me four stress. What if I just close the deal now? Yeah, especially with reduce all interest gained by 50%. Let's uh, avoid that 4% stress. And frankly, it's not bad for the ice tonic as is. Right now, how do I feel about this deck? It's uh, it's okay. It's one of the decks of all time, I'll say. I feel like I had something better going in the past. But the big numbers are pretty exciting now. Ooh, ooh. Not a bad hand. I think I'll probably close it out this turn. Oh yeah, especially since that gets me another tier. Yeah, that's worth it. Hell yeah. Well, time to get my Thunder Tonic so I can sell those at an insanely high price. And Fire Tonics. And what do I want to make now? How about an Ice Tonic with a positive third trait? Well, let's see, can I get 28 somehow? Probably not. I guess this is a chance to become grand. Sometimes it's better to just jam Magimins in there than to perfectly balance everything out anyway. And I guess then I can make the Health Potion with the positive first trait. Which won't be perfect, but it doesn't have to be. This is just stable, too. But I'm not going to optimize any further. Send it, and I think I'm going to go out now. Hell yeah. 20 turtle shells. Damn, you drove the turtles to extinction. Could rank up now. I actually might do it. Just in case there's some sort of shop discount. Or investment discount that I didn't already have. I don't remember where I'm at right now with them. Compromise. Raise interest to the next level. Permanently block the highest available level of interest. Effect ignores customer shield. Cards for quitters. Compromising is for quitters. Real deck builders get exactly what they want. Alright, you got anything good here? Oh, oh, I need this. Banshee's bloody tongue. And also, it's insanely cheap, so I'm going to 
disrupt the hell out of the ecosystem for it. I mean, the ecosystem is already 100% disrupted. What's another 10 of these then? What's, what's another 10? This is insanely cheap. There's no cap to this. But this is like the exact thing I've been waiting for. I'm gonna buy 50 of them. That's how badly I want them. And I forget whether I have one of these or not. I'll just buy one to hedge my bets. I know I have an eel. <laughs> Get absolutely destroyed ecosystem. We're eco terrorists now. <gasps> is the cocoon. Oh, that's big. I needed that. And some of these rewards are nuts. The moat of mana is pure, so good. Of course, I now get a fairy flower bloom. Composite slime, I think, is new to me. That's a huge win. You, I don't think I've tried giving her a bone yet. I don't know, maybe mint likes bones. We are so in sync. Whoa, okay. Well, that's a surprise to me, but I'll take it. I was gonna say it's unlikely because she's not a dog, but she does fetch a lot of ingredients for me, so maybe I was mistaken. There was somewhere that was more buffed. I think it was the Storm Plains. Because now I can bring out the Grand Thunder Tonic. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. So much damage locked. So a health potion. Do I want to bring anything else with me? Maybe some more loot? Eh, screw it. More loot. Especially since the loot is supposed to be bigger here now. I don't think I need that potion anyway. Who needs XP? The reward should be worth it. What is it that you like? Maybe a bug. Eh, what the hell? Heck yeah, awesome gift. The bug it is for Zid. Let's go. The eel is still as good as it gets. One day I'll get you a legendary fish. For now, I want to look at upgrades. So I can finally upgrade this shelf. Again? Oh, I could do it again. I think I actually will do it again. Yeah, I don't have much to need for either of those ingredients. Maxed out the shelf. Saffron... Okay, how are you about plants? You've brightened an otherwise somber occasion. Okay, Saffron's plant. Uh, I don't have the time to rank up, unfortunately. The only reason I'm not excited about this one is because I knew this was coming. I just kept putting off the plant gift for I don't know what reason. That's all. On to the next place. Errands are over. It's fine for time for one last round of potion brewing. Shibuya. All right, can I accept any of these other online orders? Yes, I can. Oh, I messed up this one. That's fine. Ship it. Not honestly, not even profitable. So I messed up the site enhancer. Well done. Positive fourth trait. This is my final site site enhancer. It's the bare minimum. Not that exciting. And for my final recipe. Maybe I could dare to make a grand health potion. Just to see if it's actually finally doable. I mean, it should be with these snapping turtle shells. I just put in seven of them and I get there, right? With ease. If all I want is the tier, I don't need that much. I could go get away with... Well, I could get away with this, frankly. Yeah, it's fairly lean. Okay, time to get the dang potions out. I'm gonna try once more with my current deck. Maybe I was just uh, not doing it right the first time. So, what's Roxanne about? Just give me tension, double stress, receive from all sources, no biggie. An early scheme, which should really get things going. Ooh, let's go with his confidence right now and see if I can draw a big one to pump up. Yeah, I did draw a good cop, bad cop. So hear me out. This is this is what the whole deck was building towards. I go pump it up into 53 for three. Yeah, this is what it was all about. Does it get me there? It does. Well, that was easy. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to switch out the deck. I just wanted one power play and now I've had it. Now I'm thirsty for it again. You're just gonna make me stressed and draw one fewer card next turn. Not great, but not much I can do about it either. And 2% stress is nothing to worry about. Nothing to stress about, if you will. So I could likely close this out still. Yeah, especially with build rapport. Haven't been able to pop off with that in a while. I need a good one now though. Um, does this get there? I'm tempted to just send it. 19. 
Well, if I don't play Sleight of Hand, I will have one Patience to get 21 Interest. How many cards do that for me? Double Enthusiasm, double Good Cop, Bad Cop. Sleight of Hand is effectively 15%, so a guaranteed 15% or 4 cards out of 13 to get me to 25%. And I draw 4 cards next turn. Odds are pretty good that I get one of them, right? Yeah, it's like two-thirds chance or higher that I actually get one of the cards. So that's fine. Let's risk it. I guess there's the stress percentage. No, oh, I, I got it. Easy. Let's do the big one. <laughs> I drew three of them. Love to see it. Love to see this cash flow go up too. Whatever, I'll accept these. Okay, got some good potential here. Four stress coming in. Hopefully I draw like scheme. Oh, I did get enthusiasm. That was pretty good too. Casual 30 right now. For four stress, maybe I just want to close it out right now. And also there's not even that much patience left. So there's not even that good of a shot of me being able to get that much more out of it. This is a business decision. I'm choosing not to get stressed. I think considering the circumstance, it's perfectly fine. Oh, I did get Scheme. So I can Sympathy and Confident. Thing is, only seven patients. This is a terrible customer to get this hand on. Let me see if Enthusiasm gets me anywhere. It gets me nowhere. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if this was a customer with like 15 patients, I would have had the greatest turn of all time. But it just wasn't the case. So I get nothing. Part of me is just wondering if I want him to leave. But I don't know if he's still going to inflict stress. So I'll, I'll just take the guarantee. Also, I'm probably not going to get that many more customers, so why not? It's Baptiste. Uh, build Rapport is better than Elevator Pitch. Then Good Cop, Bad Cop's fine. Even with the Shocked, I think. That's a 503 potion. Let's pump those numbers up. Okay. So, I want to scheme last. As dumb as that sounds. Well, I want to play my Blitz. I think that's kind of what it comes down to. Oh, I don't know if we'll get a chance to. Looks like I'm just enthusiasing, then sleight of handing. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I like that. There's no way I'm getting that extra uh, tier. I'll take my 590. Ooh, banger hand here. Elevator pitch into blitz. This is a one turner for sure against this kind of customer. Oh, especially when I keep drawing card draw. Let's draw three here. I did get sleight of hand. I'll press the attack first. Craftsmanship for the extra percent. And then sleight of hand does a ton of things for me. Hell yeah. Well, that's a good way to end the day. Hey, my biggest swing ever. And it's positive. Nice. Well, next up to the competition. That's going to be a scary day. Scary because I've got a twist planned. <laughs> and it's... Going to make things a lot more interesting than you may expect. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Potionomics playlist is available for you to catch up on. Hope you're all excited for the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.